Everyone, welcome back to Learning Village. I hope you guys are doing good and staying safe. Countdown for NIMSA 2021 has begun, and everyone is putting their thousand percent in order to secure good ranks and their dream colleges. I know most of you have completed your preparation and you are just revising the things in your last months, but trust me, preparing for the exams whole year and executing it in the same manner during the exam. are two different things so today i'll be sharing my experience of nimset exam that how i planned everything how i was preparing what kind of resources i followed what was the time management during the exam of 2 hours how i segregated the time for each and every section and how i was attempting the question and as a bonus i'll be discussing about the resources as well like books links whatever i followed for the preparation definitely i will talk about that one as well so all important links related to the resources and preparation will be in the description box there most important thing will be perfectly curated 10 mock test which will definitely going to help you because it helped me as well so first i'll talk about different section and marking of nimset exam so in the nimset exam there will be four sections first for mathematics 50 question second for the reasoning aptitude 40 question third would be for english like 20 questions and last computer awareness and for that there will be 10 questions each question will be of four marks and for every question there is negative marking as well and that will be of one mark what books did i follow when i was preparing for the exam for the mathematics i was following rd sharma volume 1 volume 2 so whosoever is a je aspirant might be knowing about these books because it covers all the important topics of mathematics for these competitive exams second for the reasoning and aptitude i was following rs agrawal book so that is for verbal non verbal reasoning for the journal english uh, i was just following my school books you can say uh, like in 10 plus 2 whatever i was following because in the exam for the english there will be very very general things like word arrangement synonyms and antonyms and uh, like just read the sentence and try to figure out what would be the best option for the fill in the blanks kind of thing so that kind of questions will be there so this thing you can definitely prepare from your school books like whatever we used to follow in 10 10 plus 2 that that helped me definitely for the computer awareness like you should have a good understanding of fundamental at least like uh, knowing about the computer fundamentals ram rom etc bit manipulations and something about the computer organizations and these things this thing definitely you can probably follow the computer fundamental book any good like which covers all these different topics mostly things for the computer awareness related i covered when i was doing those mock tests so that helped me a lot to understand like what kind of general questions can be asked in the computer awareness section so these were the books which i actually followed second important thing what i did in last two months before the examination that was the very very crucial time my prime focus was to revise the things like as many as times i can revise the things that is going to be helpful for me whether it was the mathematics reasoning english or computer awareness i was doing the revision from the handmade notes i was focusing on the important topics practicing all the questions again and again and in the last two months most important thing was the mock test because as many as mock test you solve it gives you a confidence and i was not solving those mock test or mock questions uh, in a very light way like i used to set up a timer of 2 hours and within that 2 hour i always try to complete the mock test and i divided my time for different different sections i'll talk about in in later part so that's how that was my strategy which i was following in the mock test because the similar thing i was supposed to do in the examination it wasn't like that in the mock test i am following a different strategy and during the real exam i will be following some different strategy so that's how mock test definitely helped me and guys for bunch of really really good mock test you can definitely visit site of edu gorilla and trust me i have liked the way they have curated their test because i have the soft copy and i have the book as well like from where you can 
practice those mock tests with solution with hints so let me show you that what they have covered in their mock tests so if you go through with their online test series they have like 19 mock tests with 2 to 80 questions and the level of those questions is definitely something which is matching the level of actual NIMSAT exam it is not like they have randomly created questions based on the syllabus no it is the level they have maintained which students keep on facing in NIMSAT exams every year seven previous year questions with 839 questions sectional test 69 sectional test 2388 questions so you can see the bunch of questions and the bunch of practice set you will be having with these mock tests and this is definitely gonna help you it's not like that they have only questions in their mock test they are providing the hints like if you are not getting any idea later part you can see those hints or even you can see the solutions and try to check where you are lacking so that's the kind of thing they have covered you should definitely check it out i have shared the link in the description box go and check it out and they are also running a good offer like you can use coupon code NIMSET21 to avail really good offer on that. If you are someone who don't like reading PDF then you have also another option like you can go and buy their book. That book will contain 10 mock tests end to end completed with solution. So this is the book I have for this one you can definitely see i hope you guys can see it so i'll open this book and we'll walk you through that what important things i like about this book the first thing which i like that on the front pages they have provided all the relevant information regarding the nimset exam i mean if you guys can see it like the number of questions negative marking and tentative dates for the examination form filling for every year and even including the amount of fees you need to pay for the application form now as i talked about that there will be 10 mock tests for you in this book and those mock tests the level of the questions is definitely pretty amazing and the best thing like they have covered all the things you can see this is the mock test one like all the relevant questions are covered for you and here is the analytics section reasoning section and i will show you one cool thing which i found uh, like Regarding the questions, that is fine, but the smart answer sheet, like if you guys can see it, there is a one option like correct and the skip percentage. So how this percentage is working basically based on the analysis, like if this is the question, then like what would be the percentage a student can skip it and what is the percentage uh, the, the students solve this question correctly so it will definitely help to understand you your average performance once you are done with the mock test even in the like last here you can see this is the written performance analysis your average performance in the percentage whatever it is that was the one important thing which i found the smart answer sheet and after that like hints and solutions are provided with appropriate explanation it's not like that any misleading part is given and some random statements are written uh, or like part is missing it is not like that for every question there is a good explanation with correct steps so that if let's say you are not able to solve a particular question you can take the help from the backside and just like can try to understand what was the approach for that so this is about the mock test one similarly you will be getting same kind of 10 mock test in the entire book and that is going to be really helpful trust me that was the thumb rule like revision mock test get the feel get the environment of actual nimset exam and definitely i can bet you will track it with good rank now that was all about the resources and things i use now the last and very important thing how i segregated my time when i was giving that nimset exam so we will be having only two hours and we have four sections to cover so when i was giving my nimset exam then i was following few thumb rule first one was avoid negative marking as much as i can for that you have to be really really confident like whenever you will see the question you will get an idea within the 10 seconds that yes you can solve it or not if you don't get that feel, you don't get that idea, do not waste your time there because it will kill unnecessary time and within that time, 
you can probably cover other questions and a very basic baby step was that as soon as you will get the paper first spend at least two three minutes to check different sections that what kind of questions have been covered like what kind of area like uh, permutations combinations calculus trigonometry whatever has been covered so you will get an idea about that my strategy was quite clear first 60 minutes i will devote it for the mathematics and that's what i did like doesn't matter the number of questions i will be solving in that 60 minute but starting 60 minute will be completely dedicated to the mathematics so i started doing it initially like first 3 4 minutes were really really challenging for me because i was confident for the questions i knew that i can solve it but because of the examination pressure like my hands were sweating and my heart beat was really really fast i was so nervous i was feeling nervous and that's a human being thing like you cannot get away from it but that is the major thing which we need to deal with in the examination is yes. feel confident don't feel under pressure be positive stay calm cool and that will help you so after like 3 4 minutes when i thought no i cannot waste my time in such a way i should feel positive i should stay calm and composed then i started getting the flow i solved two three questions they were correct answers were matching and after that i started feeling confident and i got a good speed as well like while solving the question so once that 60 minutes were done i was able to solve at least 35 questions i still uh, remember it correctly now i will talk about the next 30 minute for the next 30 minute my idea was to dedicate it for the reasoning and aptitude even in the reasoning and aptitude question i do remember i was so keen to focus on those type of questions where you will be given a like paragraph kind of a statement and you just need to solve it you need to just maintain some bullet points and like after that four five questions will be related with the same so those were my important areas you can say where i was dedicatedly focusing because i just had to read the statement thoroughly make the bullet points and were done with the four five questions but that doesn't mean i was not focusing on other questions i definitely did like whatever i prepared it was related to verbal non verbal reasoning man power work ratios clocks direction these kind of topics were covered in the exam so i definitely focus on that and trust me guys i was not good at reasoning and aptitude i was good in the mathematics section uh, still i feel that i am not very very good at reasoning and aptitude so that's why in the exam i didn't waste my time like after 30 minutes i didn't waste any single second for the aptitude on reasoning section in the 30 minutes i was only able to solve 17 questions but those 17 questions were really really confident that was the thing i was following that thumb rule doesn't matter like if i am able to solve like 15 questions or 10 question probably but i won't go for the negative marking at that i cannot afford definitely so i avoided that part and i solved those 17 questions where i was feeling so much confident next 10 minute was dedicated for the english part i solved some questions there and next 10 minute was dedicated for the computer awareness so those were really really general questions out of 10 i was able to solve six question again i avoided that negative marking wherever i was feeling under confident and for the remaining 10 minutes i was not shuffling into different section and was trying to cross check the answers I was just cross checking one thing that whether i have marked my answer correctly in the omr sheet or not and i was left with few minutes so i just tried to solve few mathematic questions and i do remember at least in the remaining 5 6 minutes i was able to solve two more questions and that helped me so that's how i divided my time during the examination and it helped me definitely i was able to solve the questions i do remember out of 120 question in total i was able to solve around 70 questions those 70 questions were perfectly bang on i didn't even try to do any blind guesses and was not solving any question whenever i felt that i am feeling under confident for this question so that was my basic basic strategy and it helped me to crack amazing rank in different different examination not only nimset and i landed into my dream college so guys that was all about my experience for the nimset exam i hope whatever i have shared it might help you the resources i talked about if you can follow those mock tests that will be really really good because i am telling you based on my experience it worked out for me it will work out for you as well and if you are someone who is watching this video and planning to become nimset 2022 aspirant then definitely you can 
follow those books and resources I talked about. From my side, all the very, very best to all the NIMSA 2021 aspirants. Do your best, feel confident, stay positive, cool, calm, composed. Just keep on revising the things, keep on solving the mock test with dedicated time, timers. Feel that environment and definitely you're gonna make it. Trust me. And if you love this video and my experience, then make sure to like this video, share it with your friends who are preparing in their last months before the exam so that those resources and experience can help them. And if you are new to the channel, then make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the notification icon so that you are updated with all the latest videos on e-learning bridge. I will see you guys in coming days with another amazing video. Till then, stay safe, stay home, take care of yourself and your family too.